Hi YouTube, this is my voice reveal, I'm Destro, and uh, some dude asked me to make a tutorial on how I make circles in build -a boat so I thought I would do it for this video, seeing as it's a lot easier to do a tutorial when you're talking instead of putting in all the words, but yeah, this is my voice. Now, the way I make a circle, and I can make it any size, and that's the main thing, you can do it any rotation. I'd always select a center point. Say, let's paint this white block. Okay, so say this is the center point of the circle. You always start here. You place one block, and what if I wanted, say, a 10 block circle? Scale it out to 10, put it in. Scale it out by 10. By 10. He just cleared, didn't he? Next, what you're going to do is scale it out again and put it back in. So, this is 10 blocks out. Now, the way I do my circles is you just play around with the scale 0 0.5 on each side. It's got a tiny little gap if you look closely. So you scale it back in, then do 0 0.55, just guessing. And then you just keep on doing this. That's way too much. 0 0.45. Basically, you just keep going until you get it perfectly smooth. Now, if you look very, very closely, there's a tiny gap. I think that's as smooth as I'm going to get it, 0.44, without having a crack in the center. Basically you just play around with the scale, and this works, see now there's a gap, so 0.45 makes the smallest, but smoothest little, see if I go super close in, there's the little gap, and that's the overlap, that's it but almost perfectly smooth, you could not tell. So you wanted a small circle, this would still work. Just place one block, center block. Say I wanted a circle the size of this block. Place this, I set my scale to 0 0.95, scale it in like that, and then do the same again. Now you can do this with any rotation, like 5 degrees as well, it honestly does not matter, I'm just doing 15 because it's easier to showcase, but for bigger things like this I'll do rotation 5, well I would do rotation 2, but rotation 5 at least, sometimes rotation 1. But as you can see, all I have to do is do this part again, 0 0.1, that's probably too much by the looks of it, so... I'll do 0 0.08. I'll scale it in. Scale it in. Now there's actually a tiny little gap. Uh, I accidentally scaled that in. Great. One second. I messed up. 0 0.95. 0 0.08. Scale that back in. Now I'm gonna go 0 0.9 because there was a tiny little gap at 0 0.09. And then if you look closely, tiniest little bit of overlap, but almost perfectly smooth. I literally cannot make it smooth unless I go to zero, but I would advise doing it with the tiny bit of overlap because that means all the builds are balanced and it's even and this works for everything like for some builds i've used this for many builds for instance uh in my shapes slot i built the front of a plane which i've actually scrapped and a fountain I used the same method just to save time, I 
duped it. So I did a rotation five degree, then built all the shapes with little tiny blocks to make sure there was very little overlap. I'm actually going to build this for a tutorial in a minute to show you, but with this technique, I've gotten minimal overlap on all of these builds, including the train which I'm also working on, but I'm actually about to scrap this. For this, I made the front of the train actually in rotation too, but I'm not happy with the look of it, I want to make something else. If you look very, very closely, there's, there's the tip of the... Now, I was a bit lazy, I could have done smaller blocks, but I decided to do that since it was so small. This is rotation 2. Oh, and lag. But there. Rotation 2 with minimal overlap. Almost invisible. Look at that with the shine on it. You can actually see all the layers. That's why this one works so well. Now, I'm just going to do the tutorial. So, what you're going to do, build yourself a nice little platform. If This is just so that you guys know how to do these things which I've built. I'm going to build, let's say, a little vase. What you want to do, I'm going to use plastic, you can use any block. 0.95, scale it in. Turn it. Then what I'm going to do is set this to 0.9, scale it down to just there, so it's 0.2 high. Then just got to find the right length, 0.08. Actually we did this one before at 0.09. But yeah, this works for almost everything. Now, say I wanted to build it outwards in a nice little arch like that. Then, just go whatever rotation you want. Just that little bit I'm going to do. Then select 0 0.95. Scale it down flat, scale it down flat, scale it in so it's just the fin pole. I normally just use 0 0.05 to move the blocks, and I'm going to scale it down to just that one, well, I was actually pretty lucky because it's perfectly in line, scale it in, scale it in, and what I'm going to do, scale it to just here, now unfortunately you do need to scale to the blue. yeah. Set scale to 0 0.03, I'm just guessing. I'm going to scale it in, scale it in, not quite. 0 0.04, scale it in, scale it in. See that little tiny bit? I'm actually going to do I'm going to be a bit lazy, but you could go block by block like that. I'm going to just do 0 0.05 with a little bit of overlap. Barely noticeable though. And then what you do is just scale it down to the crevice where the little tiny gap, just before the little gap begins. Ah, uh, that's almost unnoticeable, so I'm just going to leave it. And then you just keep on doing this until you get a nice shape. But for now, I'm just going to leave it like that. I'm going to delete this. I'm going to place a chair directly underneath. Actually, just there. Because that's not the exact center, that is. And then save. Actually, <laughs> not bad. I'm going to go 0.95 just to make sure it's connected so I can just place a cake or whatever you use to connect with. Scale it in and now I'll save.
this is such an easy way to do. Basically, I've got just two pieces, that's all you need to do, but what you do need to remember is every time you scale inwards or outwards, just here, make sure to do the exact same on the opposite side. I'm going to place one cake, place a jetpack, and a jet, you can use whatever fly duping glitch you want, as long as you take it to the other side. Then, once you're here, past the past this wall is what I like to do. As long as you're past there, it's fine. Then just fly back. I'm going to delete the jet once I get over the top of it. Delete the jetpack. I'll place one chair just there so I know where to place. Place the chair and rotate once, 15 by rotation of whatever you did before. As long as you've done the same on both sides of this, I accidentally may have forgotten to do it on this side. So, I'm um, a bit of an idiot. 0 0.9, I think it was. No, 0 0.09. Just have to remember to always do it on the opposite side as well. What the heck? Just make sure to always do the same on the opposite side, otherwise it will not be even, I forgot to, and I have messed up. But now, if I go 1, 2, and then scale that back out, because I'm an idiot and I failed, but there you go. It's the same all the way around, as long as you just always remember to do the same on both sides of this block. You can make this perfect shape with minimal overlap, barely noticeable, and you can make shapes just like my plate and stuff, which once this loads, cause this, see all the little blocks? I actually did the same thing on this. If you look closely, there's a few gaps because I decided to make it a little smaller, but just here, for example, this bowl. Minimal overlap, but from a distance, you can barely even tell. Just here, this plate, minimal overlap. This fountain, if you look ever so closely, then you can see the overlaps. But, you cannot stop it. Like, I could have done it with small blocks. It is possible. Just didn't feel like it, because I'm lazy. But yeah, that's how you make a perfect circle, any size. And it's also how you make a rounded shape like this. These shapes are going down to 0 0.19. Top of this, I think, was getting insanely small, 0 0.08. The smallest you can scale the block is to 0 0.05, which is why I unfortunately could not have gone much smaller. But it seemed to fit nice. <laughs> Look at the lag when I put my camera close to it. It's lagging so badly. Yep, make sure to like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell to never miss another video. If you want to join my Discord, uh, I have the link in the description of this video my discord server i have all the links so if you want to come play with me just join my discord uh in my server suggest video ideas whatever you want if you want to see another tutorial like this suggest it like comment subscribe and hit that notification bell never to miss another video bye